Which do I buy? Or for hero equipment? Or a book of heroes? That is the question that we are here to answer today. Which one will benefit me more? Which one will make my progress more effective? Let's get into it. Recently, Supercell introduced the Dragon Festival event in celebration of the Lunar New Year. And with this event, just like with Mashup Madness and the Cookie Rumble events, we have the opportunity to buy lots of really cool stuff, such as the Frozen Arrow, the Dragon Warden skin, and tons of other really valuable magic items. Also offered with the Dragon Festival is the special event track where you can pay $5 and gain access to even more red envelopes, which allow you to purchase even more cool items from the event shop. So the question is, if I have all of these extra red envelopes just flying around, what do I do with them? Which is better to buy? Should I spend it on a book of heroes or should I spend it on ore? Now, granted, the first thing that we're going to be buying is the frozen arrow. So do not miss that. But other than the frozen arrow, which one is a better purchase? I think we can all agree that making our heroes more powerful overall should be our primary focus when upgrading. Stronger heroes results in more three stars, which is what we all want in CWL and war. And there are three ways we can make our heroes stronger with magic items. Those are finishing one level of a hero with a book of heroes, instantly making our heroes max with a hero potion, or using ore to upgrade a piece of hero equipment in the blacksmith. Both essentially make our heroes stronger, so is buying one better than buying the other? There are two ways of looking at this. One is from a purely stats increased viewpoint. For example, if you upgrade the king from level 57 to level 58, then he will see an increase of 145 HP and a DPS increase of 7. When you upgrade, say, the Rage Vial from level 9 to level 10, you're going to see a similar increase of 120 points of HP and 6 DPS increase. So, about the same stats. Now, to upgrade that Rage Vial from 9 to 10, it will cost 1,900 ore, which would cost you 1,950 red envelopes from the special event in the Trader Shop. A Book of Heroes, on the other hand, costs only 1,030 envelopes, so that automatically means the Book of Heroes is a better choice, right? Since you can essentially upgrade two levels of the King in exchange for one level of the Rage Vibe. Even if we compare the cost of a Book of Heroes versus or purchased for gems in the Trader Shop using the same comparison method, it would cost 1,050 gems for the amount of ore we would need versus only 500 gems for a hero book. So come on, this is a no-brainer, right? You know which one to buy. Wrong! There's a lot more to this transaction than initially meets the eye. Let's explain why. In December of 2023, Supercell quietly updated one magic item that changed how we will look at heroes in Clash of Clans forever. That one change was with the Hero Potion. Previously, this potion would only add five levels to your heroes when with the new update, your heroes now become max at whatever town hall that you're at. While previously the only way to make your offensive capability more powerful in regards to your heroes was to upgrade them one level more. Now, upgrading your heroes has taken a turn in that you don't really have to focus on them at all. Just buy three hero potions each week from the trader shop with raid medals, grab every hero potion made available to you through clan games, special events, and the like, and essentially... Hero upgrades become irrelevant. Now, there's nothing that sucks worse than having a hero down exactly when you need them for war or for friendly challenges or for whatever it might be. But also, having low heroes isn't really an option long term anyway. But the point is that the hero potion and the upgrades that Supercell made to it really devalues the value of the Book of Heroes and almost makes it worthless. 
In fact, currently in game, there is no potion of hero equipment, and if Supercell introduces one, then my recommendation will definitely change. But at this point in the game, because of the hero potion, it becomes way more complicated as to whether upgrading your heroes is even worth it at all. If you can essentially make your heroes max whenever you want, then why would we even bother upgrading them? I mean, it sucks having them down for war, the game is a lot less fun to play with when they're down, and I can just use a hero potion to immediately bypass all of that pain. Because of this fact, purchasing ore becomes much more valuable than a book of heroes every single time, as ore essentially becomes the only true way you can make your hero stronger. Sure, you can upgrade your king from level 57 to 58, but in the end, it doesn't even matter if you're just going to use a hero potion anyway. Now, I know it seems like I'm suggesting that you never upgrade your heroes, and that is definitely not the case. But with the value of the hero potion, you can actually make your heroes max in a snap. Where did he go? But based on that fact, the value of ore far outstrips the value of a book of heroes because of the hero potion. Now, if you say, Tip, I 100% disagree with you. I want to upgrade my heroes. I want to do that first. I'm not worried about my hero equipment. And that's the way that you want to play the game. Then go for it. But know that because Supercell has devalued the value of upgrading your heroes one level, the only way to make your heroes more powerful overall because you can't make your hero equipment max with a potion like you can your heroes is to gain more ore so that way you can upgrade your hero equipment remember the goal is to make your heroes more powerful overall now the bottleneck for players has tended to be glowy ore, so i would definitely prioritize that over the other types of ore but again Make the decision that is best for you. Hopefully this gives you an idea of what you think you should spend your red envelopes on or your gems on if you're going to be purchasing some of these items in the trader shop. Until the next video, we have some awesome ideas that are coming, so make sure that you're subscribed, like the channel, and share it with anybody who's confused about what type of things that they should buy with their red envelopes. Until the next video, I'm TipDog20. I'll see you then.